Hey citizens, thanks for stopping by. For today's video, let's take it up close and personal of this 2018 Photon View Transvan. The Photon View Transvan is powered by a Cummins ISF 2.8 liter turbo diesel engine that is mated to a 5 speed manual gearbox and it is a 15 seater configuration. As always guys, this is going to be a full walk around review of the Photon View Transvan and showing you the most interesting features from the interior as well as the exterior. So, what are you waiting for? Let's sit back, relax, and enjoy of this review. Photon brand was found in the year 1996 on its home country, Beijing, China. This Chinese automaker produces trucks, buses, SUVs, and heavy-duty vehicles. What you see here is the Photon View Transvan which you are familiar with is the replicated Toyota Hi-Ace 5th generation. Yes, it is the replica of the Hi-Ace but some of the features are definitely designed by its own including the interior. On its heart, the Transvan receives a Cummins ISF 2.8 liter turbo diesel engine that is derived by Isuzu. When it comes to Photon, price points are literally cheap and as it's compared with the high ace and any other contenders, the Transvan is 30% less expensive. In all of a sudden, the Transvan has some minor advancement including a keyless remote and flip key mechanism which you don't see in many vans. The Transvan was launched in 2013 for the Philippine market together with its bigger sibling, the Traveler, which is the wider body structure and high roof version of the Transvan. In May 2018, Photon launches the HR or high roof version trim Transvan in the Philippines that compose 16 seats configuration. Overall, the Transvan is a must buy and it is quite a reliable van to go with. As of May 2018, three trims were offered for the Transvan a 13-seater configuration, a 15-seater configuration, and a high roof or HR version which compose 16-seater configuration. All these are powered by an Isuzu-derived Cummins ISF 2.8-liter turbo diesel engine. Exterior features for the Transvan are equipped with halogen projector headlights, front fog lights, silver-painted two-louver front grille, chrome side mirrors, chrome door handles, rear incandescent taillights, chrome plate garnish at the back, high mount stop light, rear backup mirror, and a spare tire that is mounted underneath at the rear. There are fewer amounts of safety features for this Photon Trans van. However, this van doesn't have airbags all around, driver assist system, Isofix child seats and tether anchors, or whatsoever. But it does have anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution and ELR seat belts in all rows. This van has fitted to 15-inch steel rims with 6-spoke silver hubcaps. Disc and drum brakes are both present front and rear. The front suspension for this van receives independent double wishbones, while the rear suspension of it is leaf springs. Speaker down there, your bottle holder, little storage, window controls, all two windows on this car are fully powered while the driver's side window gets a fully automatic function in both directions. Got your center locking button as well as your uh, window lock. Pull this lever to release your fuel door and pull this lever to release your bonnet. 
underneath at the flat nose bonnet of this trans van where you can locate the water reservoir or the engine cooling system of this typical van as well as hydrovac with brake fluid container and the container contains water for your windshield washer storage to gain access to your engine bay locate the sleeve right here on both sides as you can see all you have to do just release this uh, tab right here then unmount and same goes to the other side and you can lift this van is powered by an Isuzu derived Cummins ISF 2.8 liter single overhead cam 16 valve four cylinder turbo diesel engine with common rail direct injection. This van creates 109 horsepower at 3600 rpm and 225 newton meters of torque between 1800 and 2000 rpm. Fuel tank size is 65 liters with the Euro 4 compliant as its emission standard. A 5 speed manual gearbox has offered for this trans van and the drivetrain of this van is a rear wheel drive vehicle. When you open up the engine bay, and to avoid uh, this seat from falling down, here's this kind of a thing. This strap right here locks in place. Locate this uh, uh, this thing right here. The driver's seat gets a fully manual adjustment. Got your seat back and your seat sliding position. You have the same adjustments as found on the driver's side. Seat back and seat sliding position. The Photon View Trans Van gets a hydraulically assisted rack and pinion power steering system. This steering wheel is made in urethane material and it is obviously a four spoke design. From a 2.8 liter turbo diesel engine, the Trans Van is mated to a five speed manual gearbox. Push the lever to the right and down in order to put it into reverse. Here is your front middle seat. But if this one person don't want to use this middle seat in front, Locate this lever right here, just push this lever all the way through. Now you will get a storage, uh, storage area. As well as two cup holders and another storage area right here. To put this back, use the same lever, just pull it. And then you can flip the seat up. Ashtray or coin storage, depending what you use it for. Cigarette lighter or power or power outlet, again, depending what you use it for. Right here, you got your hand-operated parking brake, which is located underneath of the gear lever. Right now, it's currently engaged. To disengage it, press this, press the button behind this lever right here, then twist it to the right and it will disengage. Now to do, activate it again, just simply pull it back up. This button right here turns on or off all of your interior lighting within the van. And here's the button to turn off or on your 
air conditioning system to the rear. Very simple air con controls, fan speed to the left, got your different modes right here. Air conditioning, your circulation outside air, your front defrost, and temperature control to the left. An integrated head unit is standard for this transvan that features a CD, USB, and auxiliary interface, and six speakers for the sound system. Very simple head unit to use. Down below on the screen, you got your mute button, your seat track, your mode selection, band, equalizer, your plane pause, your scan, your RDM. I do believe this is a random repeat your different folder selection and at the same time it can be your six customizable stations but your this is not your typical usb port i do believe this is your uh, android port or why not and right here you got your auxiliary port to the left is your volume knob and at the same time your selection button and to the right side is your tuning knob at the same time your system button right here your power button for your radio system cd player your eject button right here Hazard switch, your headlight adjuster lever. There are no controls on the steering wheel, but behind it is your wiper controls to the right and your light indicator controls to the left. The steering wheel gets a fully manual tilt only, adjusting using this lever right here. Grip handle located at the A pillar for the driver's side that helps you to support while getting in and out. No grip handles for this one. The driver's side gets a sun visor. Interior lights right above. And the manual dimming rear view mirror. The front passenger side gets a sun visor. A grip handle for the front passenger side as well as on the A-pillar. Again, the same as the driver's side, this grip handle located at the A-pillar helps you to support while getting in and out of the car. Your upper glove box which is perfect in size. Your lower glove box, same as the upper glove box. It is a decent amount of size. Down below is your storage. And in a typical Photon vehicles, you have a fire, fire extinguisher. This is a part of the safety features for the for all photon vehicles. I do think this is for uh, safety purposes once your car went on fire. And this is going to be usable to to put the fire off. 12 volt power outlet that has a maximum of 120 watts of power
your welcome light right here empty storage underneath got your warning triangle and your jack Now, as you climb in on the first row of the traveler, well, um, what can I say about this? Uh, wala akong, ano, wala akong room para magstretch ng feet underneath of the driver's seat because usually you don't have any space because the engine was located in the middle of the, under the seat. Uh, I have plenty of leg room and I have plenty of headroom. This much as big as this. Well, sa palagay ko, uh, roomy siya. Roomy siya dito sa first row ng trans van. Uh, pero, wala kang room para mag-stretch ng feet underneath of the driver's seat. Uh, ang gagawin mo lang it, 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 ipatong mo yung TL mo o paa mo you know TL is the ilonggo term of paa or feet anyways ipato yung, ipatong mo yung paa mo para komportable mo kung gusto mo o ilagay mo lang sa baba at pupunta ako dito um Ganun na rin. Lagay mo lang paa mo. Well, sa first row, wala akong masabi dito. Uh, ang masasabi ko lang, hindi siya komportable. Kumbaga, mid-engine siya. So, wala tayong room sa paa natin upang i-stretch. Unlike sa ipat ibang sasakyan well as found on the front passenger seat back you have your storage pocket while on the driver's side seat back here is your well yung lalagyan ito ito yung lalagyan para yan sa ano sa fire fire extinguisher no so hindi ko alam kung uh, but kung bat nilagay niya nila dito doon so ayun ito yung nilagyan ng fire extinguisher at 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 sa dito dito po dito po nalakalagay yung mga jack or whatsoever yung uh, hindi ko alam kung nasan nilagay yung warning triangle. So, I believe dyan po nilagay yung jack. Uh, hindi ko alam kung bakit nasa ilalim ng pupuan. Ito. Walang masasabi ko lang sa comfortness ng seat. Uh, gawa siya ng fabric eh. So, wala tayong problema sa comfortness niya. You do have air vents. With your three setting mode fan speed, usually you have your grip handle located at the B pillar for much easy entrance and exit. So, ito try natin yung nasa likuran kung gaano siya ka spacious. Wala tayong problema sa comfortness ng upuan nito, no?
So try natin sa second row ng traveler. Sa second row ng traveler, makikita nyo, well obviously, I have the room to stretch out my feet underneath of the driver's seat. Para sa second row, wala akong legroom dito. At sa headroom, I have this much, the same lang. Pero, yung problema, ito sa second row, wala tayong legroom na, mak na makakita dito. No? So, yun. Hindi siya gano'ng spacious dito. So, kumpara sa high ace, uh, bagong high ace, nga ba 2019-2020 uh, mas luwag siya pero dito hindi siya maluwag kasi pagkikita mo yung distansya um, makitid hindi ko lang kung ma kung spacious dito sa third row sa fourth row hindi ko alam lang Uh, kung hindi nyo gagamitin to yung upuan na to, so ang gawin nyo lang, i-fold nyo yung seat back at i-flip up. Parang ganun lang. To accommodate more access para sa third row at sa fourth row. You do also have grip handles in each three sides so let's proceed on the third row Kagaya ng second row, ganun pa rin sa third row. So, nakakatawa dito, no? Sa uh, traveler. No? Kasi wala tayong room para sa ating binti. Well, obviously, I am 5'9", which is about 1.7 meters tall. Pero may, ano tayo, may room tayo para mag-stretch ng feet. Na mak obviously, makikita nyo, wala rin leg room. Yung BT ko, na-touch siya sa seat back. Ganun din sa, ano, sa uh, second row, may, ano tayo, may grip handle tayo. Ganun din sa last row. Kung feeling single kayo o OP kayo or out of place, meron kayong upuan para sa mga wala lang, trip nyo lang, mga kung gusto nyo mapag-isa. Ganon din sa likod, kung gusto nyo din mapag-isa. Pero, meron siyang upuan dito. Kung feel nyo gusto nyo mapag-isa, dito ko nilang kayo kung gusto nyo mapag-isa. At at the same time, kung na-raise yung, ano, yung upon nito, pwede kayo mag-stretch ng feet at maging comfortable lang kayo dito. No? So, wala tayong problema sa leg room. Wala kayong problema sa leg room kasi nakataas na siya. Pwede lang kung ibaba nyo tapos wala kayong leg room. At kung ibaba yung ano, yung last row, pareho lang din. Walang leg room. No? So overall, ah, hindi siya spacious 
although uh, comfortable siya dito pero kung ikukumpara sa iba't ibang vans uh, ito yung crampy no? ito parang crampy na uh, space dito sa trans van gayon din dito no how can you expect that kung 6 footer hindi kaya eh hindi kasya got your cabin light right above To open up the rear hatch, go towards the hatch itself and locate the touchpad, sorry, the lever rather, to open up the rear hatch. To fold down the seat back for the last row, use this lever right here, just pull this uh, lever, then the, the seat back folds down. And to raise the uh, seat base up, use this lever right here, just pull this. Then the seat base flips uh, to the left and fold down this uh, stand right here to lock in place use this uh, strap with a hole in here then and it locks in place Well guys, I hope you enjoy of this full walk around review of this 2018 Photon View Transvan 2.8 15-seater mated to a 5-speed manual gearbox. If you like this video, make sure you hit thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
Now, if you're subscribed to my channel, please hit the notification bell button to get notified for my latest updates. And don't forget, follow all of my social media platforms. As always, I'll see you next time with for more latest videos on YouTube. Thank you for watching and mabuhay!